Hello friends, today let's solve range sum query mutable. Given integer array numbers, find the sum of the elements between indexes i and j, inclusive. The update function modifies numbers by updating the element and index i to value. Uh, this question is very similar. We used to solve some question related to get the sum of the subarray. Mm, because this problem you will see uh, this i and j this i is not necessarily zero so it's just like we should quickly return the subarray sum of a given array the difference is that this array can be updated so it's mutable let's see how to solve it one possible solution is that uh, for this query, every time we iterate uh, the array from i to j to get the sum, accumulate the sum. So the time complexity is big O n. The update is just a constant time complexity. We just need to update like uh, numbers i equal to value. This is one solution. Another solution is just like uh, we return the subarray sum which is immutable we use a prefix sum to save the a sum between 0 to index i so if we want to get the subarray sum from i to j we just need to use prefix sum j minus prefix sum i so every time we call the query the t the time complexity is bigger o1 which is constant but this up data will be linear because for example if we change a value in the index i then that means all the value uh, in the prefix sum should be changed so it's linear but we can do better we can use segment tree for each of these two methods we will have big o log n time complexity let's see how well for example, if it's a given array, uh, we use a binary tree. Actually, it's a full binary tree. What is full binary tree? That means for a node, it either has a zero uh, children or it has two children. So for every leaf nodes, it has zero children. But uh, for every internal nodes, it has um, two children. Okay. So um, this one, it uh, contains the sum of all the elements that is from index 0 to 5 because this array, it, uh, is the range is 0 to 5. And it's two children. We divide it um, in two halves. So the first half is left the children contains the sum from 0 to 2. It, uh, it's right children contains the sum from 3 to 5 and so on and so forth. So for every leaf node, it just contains the sum of itself. Uh, let's see, it seems quite similar to a heap. If we want to represent the heap, we actually use array. So uh, I think the intuitive solution is that we can use array to save this tree. Yeah, I think it's, um, it may be correct. But the problem is that for the height of n, in total, we have 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 nodes. Uh, and many nodes are unused. For example, this 5, because this heap actually it is a complete tree. So even this 5 do not have children, we will give it uh, two place the, in this array. So um, that means there are many dummy nodes, uh, dummy place in the area, uh, in the arrays. So if we use an array to integer array to save this tree, it will cause memory limit exceeded error. But uh, the idea of uh, this solution is quite, uh, mm, I think it's uh, inspiring. Let's see it. If we use an integer array, we call it a tree. Um, for the constructor, construct function of the number array, we will um, call this build tree. 
Oh, uh, if it is a leaf node, then the this current node will equal to number start. But if uh, not the leaf node, we will iteratively to build this tree. And for every tree node, it equal to its left children and right children sum, the sum of its both children. Mm. That means go to its left nodes, and uh, that means go to its right nodes. So this is a build tree. And for the update tree, we will uh, the update we will also call this update tree, because we also need to uh, iteratively update the value. Because if one node it uh, has been changed, then its parents should also be changed. Uh, so the base case, if it is a leaf node, we just need to change the sum. If it's not the leaf node, then we should iteratively change it. Uh, see whether it's on the left nodes or the right nodes. And do not forget to update this tree node equal to tree nodes plus two. Actually the same in the build tree. For the query, we do not need to change anything. We just need to use divide and conquer to get the sum of uh, the range between i and j. So there are three cases. One is the range is outside uh, this current node's range, we just return zero. If the inside uh, this range, we just return that uh, sum. If it's uh, partially, uh, these two parts has overlap, but not uh, um, inclusive to each other, we should uh, uh, get the sum of two parts. So this is divide and conquer. So the idea is good, but uh, just uh, this array will cause memory limit exceeded. Um, so we can use, you know, we do not need to use an integer array. We can actually change the binary tree. We can change the tree node. We can use a tree node. Uh, this part actually is the pseudo -co code of uh, this code. You can see it uh, afterwards. It just uh, give the you the explanation how to um, solve this question. Okay. Uh, so actually, we have three functions: one is query, and update, and build a tree. If we do not use array, we use a tree node. Uh, the idea is uh, exactly the same. We just uh, uh, do some little trick. Let's see. If we use a tree node, uh, what should we save? One is ob obvious: is left children and uh, left child and right child. And uh, the start and that means the index, the range, it saves the sum, like from index uh, 0 to index 5. So that start will be 0, end will be 5. The sum will be uh, the sum between this range. OK, this is the one node. And we still have three functions. One is a build tree. The same, we just uh, first uh, do a quick, uh, a quick check if the start greater than and we just return num. Otherwise, we will new a node to the start and end. And if it's a leaf node, we know it's sum. It's just equal to itself. Otherwise, if it's an internal node, we should recursively build a tree. We get a result left equal to build a tree um, to the start middle. And the, the result right equal to build a tree numbers middle plus one end. And uh, this part is quite important. Uh, we should let the result sum equal to its left sum plus its right sum. Do not forget this. I think this is the core idea of this segment tree solution. So we build this fun uh, build tree already. For the update, we just need to, need to update the index i. So if it's the leaf value, a uh, leaf node is quite simple. Root sum just equal to value. Um, otherwise, if not the case, if in the left uh, part of this root node, we just update uh, root left. If the right part, uh, right, uh, right part, root right. But uh, every time we change it, we should update the sum, just uh, just like in the build tree function, because we update this root, uh, then means the sum, um, uh will also be changed. Okay. 
The query is simple because we do not need to change anything. We just need to accumulate the sum. One simple the base case is if this i j is just equal to current root dot start and end. So we just return this root sum. Otherwise, if this range is just in the left node of this root, we just go to the left. If it it's totally in the right part of this node, we just go to right. Otherwise, it overlap. We accumulate the left part and right part. So this the idea is divide and conquer. OK, so now we understand these three functions. Let's write the code. We have, we need to initialize a tree node. And we should uh, uh, use the sum and uh, start and we also need a tree node left tree node left and right so for the constructor function tree node we pass s and n that means start and end so start will equal to s and will equal to e and the left will equal to none and the right just equal to none okay so for this number array, we what we should uh, use? We should uh, use a root function, a root node. At first, equal to none. Okay, and then we need to build a uh, build tree. Why is return tree node? Because we should uh, recursively build this tree. Uh, if we let it return a tree node, we can use this uh, method to return the left uh, tree node and right tree node. So pass it uh, numbers and uh, start end. Quick check. If start greater than end, we just return now. Otherwise, let's new a uh, tree node. Tree node start end. If start equal to end, that's the leaf node, then the results dot sum equal to the number start. If not the leaf sum, then we get the middle value, start plus and the minus start. Why? Because uh, we just, uh, in case there is integer overflow, because start plus and will be great, quite great. But I think in this situation, it will not cause integer overflow, but I just uh, suitable to write it, just write that. Okay, then result left just equal to build tree numbers then start middle result right equal to build tree numbers middle plus one and the end uh, do not forget to update the result sum equal to result left dot sum plus result right dot sum return this result. So this is the build the tree function. This part root equal to build the tree numbers zero numbers dot length minus one. Okay. So update we also need a update function void update tree node root int i int value so if uh, this root uh, dot star equal to root dot end uh, that means it's a leaf node then the root dot sum will just equal to current val otherwise if not the root then we should get the middle value root dot end minus root dot start divide two and if this i less or equal than middle we just need to go to the left part so root dot left and i value otherwise go to the right part update root dot right i value do not forget every time we need to update the sum equal to root dot left dot sum plus root right dot sum okay so this is update update root i value last thing we use a query tree node root int i int j 
one simple case if root dot start equal to i and uh, root dot end equal to j we just uh, return the root dot sum else if not the case uh, we also need the, the middle value which is the root dot start plus root dot end minus root dot start divide 2 if uh, totally in the left part is j less or equal than middle then we just return query root dot left uh, i j if totally in the right part i greater or equal than middle plus 1 then return query root dot right i j otherwise we return two parts it overlap with the range so uh, left part um, i to the middle plus right part root dot right middle plus one j okay so this is a query we return query root i mm, j okay Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.